All right, in this video, I wanted to go over one additional process that really should be included in this whole central dogma of molecular biology idea. And that is a, a extra step that we do to the RNA molecule after transcription. And we call it RNA processing. So it's a three-step process and we'll go through each of the little steps and talk about why we do them and uh, when it happens. So let's take a closer look at this RNA processing. All right, so RNA processing is a step that is performed on the RNA. Uh, this process only occurs in eukaryotes. So prokaryotic organisms, they do not perform RNA processing. So this is a complication in these eukaryotic organisms. And in our class, we've talked a lot about how eukaryotes are more complicated than prokaryotes. And this is another way that eukaryotes are more complicated. All right, uh, this process occurs in the nucleus. So this happens uh, right after or during transcription and uh, transcription takes place in the nucleus. So we know that uh, RNA processing happens in the nucleus as well. So again, this process happens after transcription. You could, have, you could argue that some of it's happening at the same time as transcription as well. And then this has to happen before translation. So because the RNA is going to move out into the cytoplasm, and that's where the ribosomes are, and that's where translation will take place, this has to happen first. This is completed before the RNA leaves the nucleus. And as I said before, this is a three-step process. So we're going to look at three chemical <coughs> modifications that are made to the RNA uh, in this process. So let's look at those one step at a time. So step one of this RNA processing step would be uh, the addition of this five prime cap. So an RNA has a five prime end. That five prime end needs to be protected from degradation. So the first thing we do to this single-stranded RNA is we add this chemical modification to the five prime end. We add a special G nucleotide to the very end of the RNA at the beginning. This chemical modification, we call this a five prime cap, protects that end of the molecule from rapid degradation. So the RNA won't fall apart as quickly and we can use it a bunch of times. And that's all we need to know about the five prime cap. At the beginning of the RNA molecule, the five prime end, we add a special chemical modification, a cap, and it protects it from falling apart. If we want to know a little more, well, it's actually this special G nucleotide that's attached in a unique way. But for our purposes, we'll just leave it there. So that's step one. We protect the beginning, the five prime end. In the second step, we're going to protect the other end of the RNA molecule. So in step two, we're going to add what we call a three prime poly A tail. So here we're going to take the single stranded RNA and we're going to attach many A nucleotides to the three prime end of the molecule. So if we look at the RNA molecule here in this picture, we have the single stranded RNA and at the three prime end where it stops, we're just going to add a whole bunch of A nucleotides in a row. We call that a poly A tail. Poly just means many, right? We're adding many A's to this tail end of the RNA molecule. And just like the modification at the other end, the five prime cap, this three prime tail also protects the, D the RNA from rapid degradation. Again, it's stabilizing our RNA so we can use it many times. So we've done two steps. We added the cap, we added the tail, and now we're going to do the third step. And the third step might be the most complicated. The third step is something we call splicing. Okay. So splicing is a process that removes structures from the RNA called introns. Okay. So an intron is an extra piece of RNA sequence that's in the middle of our mRNA, and we want to take it out before we read the remaining part of the RNA when we make the protein. 
So introns are extra information that does not belong in our final RNA. We're going to take these pieces out. So we call the extra bits introns. We're going to take those out. We're going to leave behind these other parts we call exons. So we're going to leave behind the exons. They make up our final RNA. We're taking out the introns. In order to make this happen, we're going to use a, a thing called the spliceosome. So a spliceosome is a protein complex that connects to the RNA where the introns and the exons meet and cuts the exon out. Sorry, cuts the intron out. Okay. So here we can see these protein molecules assembling on this boundary where the exon and the intron meet. The RNA folds up and the spliceosome cuts out the intron, removing it from the RNA, leaving behind just the exons connected together. So splicing. We take out the introns, we leave behind the exons, and we've created a complete RNA that just has the sequence we need. All right. So RNA processing, to summarize, we take this pre-mRNA and we add a five prime cap to this end. So we've added the yellow five prime cap. We also add a three prime poly A tail to the opposite end. So we add the three prime poly A tail here. And then in the middle of the pre-mRNA, we have these exons, sorry, the introns that we're going to take out, right? We cut them out, leaving behind just the red exon sequences that are now connected together here. Three steps of RNA processing. Add a cap, add a tail, remove the intron. And it's that last step of RNA processing, removal of the introns, that makes RNA processing really interesting. We might talk about that in another video. But basically, uh, sometimes a cell can choose to add or to remove or leave behind certain introns. And that means you can make many different kinds of RNA from this one pre-mRNA. So we'll talk about that more some other time. But that's why this RNA processing step exists. So we'll leave it there. Uh, as always, let me know if you have questions, and I will talk to you all very soon.